93% agreement between research over 100 studies. It's very unusual to have that much agreement. We have lots and lots of research across this country, across the world, looking at the effects of corporal punishment on children, or the associations, I should say, that corporal punishment has with negative child outcomes. It's quite consistent. It's consistent across countries, across cultures. To me, it's incredibly consistent and compelling. And when, there's very few things that are that consistent in, in science, and social science. Parents have no way of seeing the damage done because it doesn't show up until years, at the minimum months later, years later. So a parent has no way, what, they, what a parent can see, child is misbehaving, they spank the child, the child stops. So they, they can see that it's working in that sense. Actually, the research shows it does work, but no better than just saying no, no. Um, though it's hard for people to believe that. So the advice that professionals give is avoid it if you can. And everyone accepts that. But if you're the parent of a two-year-old, it only takes you a day to discover that you can't avoid it. Being hit by parents is a very stressful experience. Our mythology is that kids take it in their stride. And they do, but that doesn't mean it isn't stressful. Moreover, it's not only a stressful experience, it's a chronic stress. It starts for a third of American kids in infancy, and the average age of cessation is about age 12. So it goes on for 12 years. So there's a chronic stress for 12 years, and that affects the brain. People are treating kids more humanely, with the big exception of toddlers. Two to five-year-olds, there's been no decrease, essentially, just a tiny decrease. In 1975, it was 96 percent. Now it's 93 or 94 percent. If there's any age when you should not attack a child, it's as an infant and toddler, because that's when the brain is in its period of most rapid development and most easily set on the wrong track. So I think if I could tell, tell parents the most important conclusions about the research, it would be that number one is that it doesn't work. Parents do it because they think it works, because they think it makes their children more compliant, uh, teaches them right from wrong, and spanking in and of itself does not do that. Parents have no way of looking a year down the road in the life of the child, two years, five years. So uh, that's critical for parents to understand. It's just like when I used to smoke. I had no way of knowing the danger. I, all, all I could know was I was enjoying it. Uh, and I had, I had to believe the research. But it's hard for parents to believe the research.